Hey everyone, welcome back to Get Festive at Home with OFN. I'm Shanice and I've got a brand new video for you today. I asked Joe Riding, the general manager of the Tulip Festival, to answer some questions about shifting the festival online and how uh, the Tulip Festival is going to share their programming through video and social media and through their website. So uh, she's got a lot of great information and I hope you enjoy all of it. Um, and thanks Joe, for uh, sharing all of your information with us uh, at OFN. All right, hope you all enjoy. Hello, I'm Joe Riding, the general manager of the Canadian Tulip Festival. I've been asked by Ottawa Festival's network to take a few moments and answer a few questions about how we are um, moving our festival celebrations online this year uh, in order to carry on a 68 year tradition and uh, to celebrate with dignity the 75th anniversary of the liberation of the Netherlands. So first we have our website. That's key. All roads lead to your website. Second, we have our social media. And there we are on Facebook and Instagram. Those are basically the two platforms that we um, recommend. Uh, and finally, uh, three is on our new YouTube channel, Tulip TV. So basically what we started doing was going through the production plans uh, for the on-site festival and step by step taking each of the installations, uh, the um, uh, concerts, the performances, uh, and every, every piece of our festival and considering how it could be presented to the public uh, digitally. And so what we've come up with is as we um, go through, some pieces can be hosted on our website with uh, some great interactive uh, maps, GIS systems, etc., etc. Um, some of our content is best shared on social media where the public can get involved because um, pandemic or not, tulips will continue to bloom this year and gardening is one of the few joys that we can do while, while we are isolated. So we're definitely going to want to encourage the public uh, in a uh, two-way uh, participation and dialogue. And then some of our pieces were best for a uh, video presentation which is where you bring your YouTube channel into play. Um, another piece that we're going to be able to offer on the website is uh, online boutique. So we will have a tulip boutique where we'll still be able to sell our merchandise as well as uh, offering a sales platform for the vendors who would have been with us this year in the park. And then we will also be able to take some of our um, larger informative pieces and really look at this as an opportunity to explore our themes and use this as a communications based year where we're able to get a lot of our core messaging out to people who may not know exactly what the Canadian Tulip Festival is all about. Um, it has been rerouted into the, uh, the history of the liberation of the Netherlands, the history of the gift of tulips and it's a festival about um, heritage and horticulture. So this is going to give us an opportunity to really dive deep into all of those pieces that we were going to be presenting to the public in the park. On social media is where we're going to be um, able to hold prizes, contests, um, engage the public, asking them to share their tulip stories, share uh, the stories of their grandparents and, and their experience during the Second World War share their um, brand new blooming Liberation 75 tulips as we did a large online campaign just this past fall uh, spreading 1.1 million uh, orange Liberation 75 tulips all across the country in honor of the 1.1 million who served in the Second World War. Uh, so in this case again um, it's everything you would have seen at the park and even a bit more. So the um, products that would have been brought in and the pieces and displays and museum pieces, now we get to speak to the fabricators and film that. Now we can speak to the historians and add that into the mix. Um, we can give a lot more behind the scenes, which uh, is interesting content. Uh, people love to know what, what happens when the doors are closed and this is a great opportunity to show them that. Um, if you need any help, um, if you have any questions about moving your brick and mortar office to a virtual office model, uh, or if you have any other questions about 
what it takes to live stream or um, get your uh, video content ready or what it would take to get yourself um, sort of up and online, uh, you can always reach out to me, uh, joe at tulipfestival.ca. Thanks, Joe, for taking the time to answer all of my questions and provide some fantastic and insightful information about the Tulip Festival and all of the online programming that you are all doing with uh, Tulip TV, the social media, and the website. I can't wait to see everything that comes out of the Tulip Festival. I will be marking my calendar um, to check out all of that fantastic programming. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to fit all of the amazing information that Joe shared with me, so keep your eye out for more content that I will be sharing as we move forward and get festive at home and connect to all of the amazing online festival content that is available to you. So keep an eye out for those videos, and I'll see you next time with Get Festive at Home with OFN.